Hi and welcome back to my channel. I've been quite busy recently with the house as you will have seen in my other videos. Today is the last day of MG ownership. I have decided to change my car and so tomorrow I drive up to Leicester and pick up my new car. I'll let you guess what it is for the time being but it has slightly more range than the MG ZS EV that I have at the moment. Uh, it's It's got an app and all the uh, sat nav is integrated and there's loads and loads of EV settings so I will talk to you tomorrow about this new car. In the meantime I've really enjoyed having the MG it's been a great car it's extremely good value for money. The MG is a brilliant first EV for most owners. It lacks a lot of advanced features that experienced EV owners like. It doesn't have a heat pump but the PTC heater is very good and effective. It doesn't have any integration uh, at the moment with um, the infotainment system. Uh, they're unlike the Thailand and Indian models which have integration. You can see consumption and history and that sort of thing. You, I mean, it, it does up to a point let you select charges but it won't tell you if you'll make it or not whereas most other EVs will do that are integrated with the sat-nav. Uh, the handling as I said in the past I've not been happy with and on the roads where I am around Kettering on the unclassified and B roads the ride is um, bouncy to say the very least. I've had the original equipment stampers put back so I'm back on the original suspension. I've removed almost all the mods that I've done to the car like the cameras and OVMS so I will be selling those shortly. So I have done just under 18,000 miles in the car in 21 months. I can't give you any idea on what its lifetime efficiency has been. It's been okay it's suffered a lot from cold gate in the early days. It seems to be a lot better at rapid charging now because it's got the latest BMS and so it will charge faster for longer, up to about 87%. Battery health, according to OVMS and the firmware I was using, just under 97%. So extrapolating it out over seven years, it will lose about 14% if it was linear but battery degradation is not linear and it loses a lot in the first period of time and then it slows down after that. I have no qualms about this car battery being way way over the 70% required by I think it's 70% required by SIAC stroke MG for replacing the battery or getting it back up to 70% within those seven years. I don't think it'll get anywhere near that. Certainly not in the UK. It's been a great car. Its only shortcomings are the suspension, as far as I'm concerned. It's well documented on my channel and elsewhere. VHS Limited Vehicle Handling Solutions have got a solution for it, which they're developing at the moment with Bill Stein dampers and iBark lowered springs which transforms the car handling. If you're concerned about that with your MG ZS EV then I suggest you get in contact with Vehicle Handling Solutions. I suspect you won't get much change out of a thousand pounds but it will be money well spent if you're going to keep the car. It might be slightly more but it's in that sort of region. MG Pilot has been very good as has been the speed limiter and I use them a lot as I do a lot of main roads, dual carriageway and motorway work now. The car is very comfortable and very practical. Would I recommend the MG ZS EV? Definitely. It's, again, it's a brilliant car. I'd highly recommend it. And there's a facelift due, we understand, in the next few, well, possibly in the next few weeks. We're not exactly sure when, but I look forward to seeing the new MG when it eventually arrives. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you again very soon. If you like and subscribe, you'll be notified of any new videos that I upload.